Please welcome Rob Shanks. All right, well, thanks everyone for being here. Uh, it's uh, been a fun show so far, and hopefully in the next uh, five minutes we'll keep it fun and uh, do some live demos. Uh, I want to talk about uh, uh, ArcGIS on the web, and uh, specifically uh, ESRI has a GIS in the cloud. It's called ArcGIS Online. Um, with ArcGIS Online, you can explore, uh, you can share, and you can build a GIS on the web. So let me sit down and uh, see if I can show you how it works. Okay, so the easiest way to understand uh, ArcGIS Online is, is through content. Uh, this is the ArcGIS Online homepage. And you can see uh, when I click on one of the uh, main links on the home page, uh, you can get to ESRI maps and data. And this is a group at ArcGIS Online uh, that is a public group. It's shared with everyone. And you can see uh, lots and lots of maps. Uh, we have data, for, uh, professional maps from millions of GIS users around the world. Uh, we have uh, data from partners like the Nature Conservancy, National Geographic, USGS and many, many others, including all the leading data vendors uh, from around the world. So we've partnered with them to make great da data uh, maps and services available uh, at almost all at no, no cost. Um, so let's find something interesting. Um, let's say I need a, a, a nice topographic map uh, for my project. Uh, so I'm going to go up here, and I'm just going to search <laughs> for topo. And I get a whole bunch of results back. There's a lot of different types of topo layers here. Uh, the one I think I might be interested in is the ESRI topographic map service. Uh, I can also go over here to my content at ArcGIS Online and see what data sets are available. Uh, and, and this is a set that I've looked at before. Uh, so I've got it in my content area. If I click on that item, uh, I can see all the details I want. And I can do things like add it to a web map, view it in a browser, et cetera. I'm going to go ahead and view it in a browser. I've got it up here. And this is actually uh, in, a, in a mashup with Virtual Earth uh, using the web SDK, the, the, the open uh, free web SDK we have to do this. Uh, so I'll just zoom in here a little bit. And you can see all the, the great detail that shows up in this map. And when we zoom in a little closer, you'll start to see contours showing up, uh, lots more shading, and buildings and streets. Uh, it really, you know, it's a beautiful uh, rendered uh, topographic map, all with current data. So it replaces all the, the, the other types of maps that are out there right now. It's available for the uh, entire United States. Uh, so we have JavaScript, Flex, and, uh, and Silverlight SDKs for web mapping as well. Uh, here I'm just going to go ahead and click on the 3D button. Uh, now I'm doing everything live and counting on the uh, internet to keep up, so <laughs> bear with me. So one of the neat things about uh, doing a mashup in the virtual Earth environment is you get all these uh, great 3D buildings. So I can zoom in and zoom out. Um, you can see there's some weather patterns uh, over. Uh, this is the Portland area right now. Uh, so as I zoom around, I actually see some of the weather patterns. So that same to topographic map is now available in 3D uh, in a virtual Earth application. You could also do this same thing uh, with, with Google Maps and other popular uh, mapping platforms. All right, so let's, uh, let's continue on and uh, let's talk about web maps with ArcGIS Online. We can create map web maps without any programming at all. So I talked about some of those SDKs, but let's just go ahead and point and click and make a map that can be saved, searched, and uh, remixed by other users. So in this case, uh, I'm just going to do a general search for population. Well, if I can spell that. I'll get population results. So again, I see a whole bunch of results. Uh, and here I find one that, that I think I want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on this map right here. Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, I could have either chosen from the last panel, or I can choose right here and say add to web map. 
what this does is it connects to ArcGIS Online layers. Uh, it gives me uh, a view of the uh, demographic data that I searched for in a web browser. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change my layer to the ArcGIS Online streets. I'm going to do a couple other things. I'm going to go up here to the layer list. I'm going to right click and set my transparency. And again, this is all happening using our JavaScript uh, API, but I'm not doing any program, program, programming to make my web map. So I've set the transparency down a little bit, and I'm going to keep zooming. And go into the Bay Area here and keep going. And you'll see I've got a great demographic map, and as I zoom in, I get more and more detail. So I'm seeing uh, demographics, demographics by zip code, and I can click on identify and, and discover uh, the legend and, and what I'm looking on, et cetera. The really neat thing about this is that you can now save this new web map that, that you've created. Uh, you could add more layers, and you can do a search and find anything you want and add those layers to this web map. Uh, they'll show up, and then you can, uh, you can click uh, Save Map, and that new web map uh, can be saved, uh, again, for other users to find and to remix with their own uh, data or with other data sets that they find uh, at ArcGIS Online. Okay, so let's stay with the same dem demographics theme and uh, find some more maps to use. In this case, I'm going to uh, search for Nebraska population. So I find a layer that I think I want to use. And there it is. I get a little bit of detail. And now I can open this in ArcGIS. And in this case, I'm going to open this in our free GIS tool, uh, ArcGIS Explorer. Uh, ArcGIS Explorer is a really neat 2D, 3D uh, interactive uh, desktop tool to let you explore all kinds of data. Uh, you can work with any popular data or service. And ArcGIS Explorer is powered by ArcGIS Online uh, data sets uh, out of the box. Uh, so we can work in 2D, we can work in 3D. And notice how all the original cartography is preserved from that data set that I found at ArcGIS Online. And I can zoom and pan, and I'm working in sort of a seamless 2D mode here. Uh, Let's uh, go ahead, and I mentioned all the different types of ba base maps from ArcGIS Online. I can choose this uh, base map of streets. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that out. OK, it had to happen. I'm live. <laughs> uh, there's, there's our street map it picks up. And uh, again, I can zoom in and out with that layer. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead now and change to a 3D display. And you're going to see that uh, this layer is not only a 2D layer, but it's a 3D layer. And when I look at things like population in 3D, I really get better perspective on uh, population by county. Uh, it's nice to see it in a legend, but it's, uh, it's really great to see it in 3D because I get that instant uh, local knowledge uh, about the data set that I'm looking at. I have a real good feel for uh, the demographics in that area. All right, so I'm going to flip back to the PowerPoint and close things up uh, quickly because we only have five minutes. Uh, I wanted to mention again that there are uh, just a vast amount of great databases and data sets available and GIS tools available at ArcGIS Online. Uh, almost all of it is uh, made available for free, and you can use uh, the web tools or you can use tools like ArcGIS Explorer uh, to uh, begin to build uh, basic uh, GIS. Uh, so we have things like soils, uh, parcel maps, hydrography, geology, and lots and lots of great content create, created by uh, the millions of, of ArcGIS users around the world. Uh, so in summary, uh, with ArcGIS Online, you can explore and use uh, maps that are published by anyone. You can upload maps and register your own map services. Uh, you can share maps and data. Uh, you can do this uh, as public or private items, and you can create uh, uh, groups that are private only to you and your coworkers or like-minded folks. Uh, and of course, you can create online maps, uh, as I was showing. Uh, every public item is a URL, actually, in the application. So it's searchable by Google and other uh, major uh, indexing systems. Uh, there's also a full REST API behind the sharing application. And we'll publish that uh, down the road. Uh, and then lastly, ArcGIS Online uh, Sharing and ArcGIS uh, Explorer 900, which is what I was showing uh, earlier here, 
will be released in about a month. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for, uh, for coming. Have a great day. Thank you.